Hi, I'm uh, Guillaume Obertron with uh, Digital Film Tree. Here to talk a little bit about uh, what we're doing with uh, film and television production on OpenStack. So I want to start off with a little uh, behind the scenes about who we are as a company. You know, first and foremost, we're a post-production facility doing uh, television and film for major studios, uh, Warner Brothers, Fox, CBS, so forth and so on. We're also a research and development company. Uh, we do a lot of research and development for workflows in television and film. Companies like ABC and Warner Brothers proofing out new technologies, new camera technologies, so forth and so on. We're also a consulting company. Uh, consults in terms of media and entertainment and technology, HP, Avid, other major corporations. And we're a software company. And this is really our newest venture, but uh, we're building both proprietary and open source software. And if you go to DFTI at GitHub, well, you'll see we have several projects that we've contributed back to the community at large. But really what all this means, what all this is at the end of the day is we're a collaboration company. And when we considered what we were doing in all these different areas, it all centers around some aspect of collaboration. And really, to be a collaboration company, you have to be a cloud company at this point, because we're all collaborating on different types of files across the internet. But right now, we've got a significant, significant issue. And that is that we're a post facility. And we distribute content and files out to visual effects facilities, back to the content owner, whether that be a studio or whoever's creating and paying for that content, back to a sound facility. And then that content owner is distributing those files back into their archive or back into distribution and then back into these entities who you're all familiar with, Amazon, Hulu, Netflix, digital distribution. And as we move through this cycle, we realize that all of these are clouds. Everybody has a cloud. I have a cloud, you have a cloud. Everybody's got a cloud. And you know, this is fine, and this is great, and, and certainly it's an evolution beyond physical movement of files. But you know, we got several problems here. One is the security needs are changing. As we go throughout all these different clouds, and also in the entertainment industry, the financial needs are changing throughout all these different clouds. This is a big, big problem. So, and it, you know, that doesn't even address the biggest problem at all, which is, is the fact that the truth is, is that we like to believe that all these clouds are interconnected, but they're really not. So as we started to think about these challenges that we have and, and are delving into consulting and software and so forth and so on, we started to really search for a solution that was going to best serve our needs in the entertainment industry. So we really were looking for what I like to call a community martini. So something that would really address these very specific needs we have. So the first need that we had is we needed open standards. We have an intensely, intensely competitive marketplace that we deal with. You know, the idea that the entertainment industry is paranoid is an understatement. It's paranoid beyond belief about security, about comp competition with one another. So you need almost a neutral entity to come in and be open so that we could, we could have communication and file collaboration between multiple software vendors. We also needed shared metadata through open APIs. Because just moving that file between clouds wasn't good enough. We have to know what that file is, what that file represents, where that file came from, what's its origination. And we needed 
open standard templates, a way to set up clouds that were identical to one another so that they could understand the content that, they, that was contained therein. We needed federated identity. So it's a very important concept in our business to have one user be one person and know what they have permission to and what they don't have permission to. So, you know, this goes back to security. We have an open standard, but it needs to be an open standard that revolves around security. And we needed that identity to be to have migration between clouds, between private cloud and public cloud. So really, migration became our key. So distribution to us, and really at the end of the day, what represents the monetary foundation of the entertainment industry, the business case around digital distribution is the journey of a file. And that journey starts with acquisition from a camera standpoint down all the way to this partners, Netflix and so forth and so on, digital distribution, internet distribution. So a files journey, and that files journey through multiple clouds. And deployment, deployment, deployment. We had to have a way for people to migrate content between clouds in an easily deployable fashion. So, you know, as I stated in my previous keynote, us in the entertainment industry, we're not smart people. So we needed something that was easy to stand up, easy to maintain, easy to train other people on. And really, at the end of the day, that was a collaboration between OpenStack and Rackspace. OpenStack being our private cloud provider and, and at our personal facility in Los Angeles, and Rackspace being our public cloud provider. And we're able to share information between the two using Heat and using um, Keystone for authentication and several other modifications that we're working on with Rackspace to really share data across these two, share security protocol across these two platforms. So this is a little example. Oh, this has audio. This is much funnier with audio. I, didn't I promise what you. You did because I know you so well. I didn't shake the soda. Then you have nothing to worry about. So go ahead and open it. I shook it. Okay, I shook the soda. I shook it up. Are you happy? It was petty and stupid and awful. I'm sorry. Damn it. So that was an example of our uh, software application critique, which is a uh, movie, uh, which is a, sorry, a video uh, collaboration tool, uh, streaming video on web out to multiple mobile devices, all on Rackspace or OpenStack. Now, the way we determine whether that's private cloud or public cloud is through that level of security. So content co becomes less secure as it moves through the production cycle. So we're able to manage that video between private cloud and then back to public cloud, and then even back to private cloud if necessary, depending on those security requirements. So I want to thank you. I want to thank all the developers. Um, and uh, have sort of, since this is such an intimate session, have sort of an open forum to ask about the entertainment industry, what we're doing in cloud. My sort of goal was to, to have some participation in, and uh, garner some interest in people developing specifically for the entertainment community. So I'll open it up to questions, of which there is none. <laughs> Uh, I was just curious if you see any like 4K adaption. Like, how, where do you see that going? Um, yeah, we're seeing a lot 4K. Um, we're seeing a, sort of a downturn in 3D and an uptick in 4K. Uh, that's an even bigger uh, part of the movement towards cloud is obviously 
cloud and uh, video distribution or internet distribution of uh, video content is going to be able to deliver 4K to the home much faster than the traditional content providers. So that's really going to accelerate the uh, shift into digital distribution. Okay, I have a quick question here. Co compared to compute and network, uh, storage has gravity. And your business, primarily moving files, deals with a lot of gravity. Uh, how do you handle, uh, especially disaster recovery and our replication? OK, so uh, we do. We have a business right now that um, most of our shows generate up to 36 terabytes a day of uh, material. Uh, we do 10 shows, so we usually generate between 350 and 400 terabytes a day worth of new material. Uh, we're working on some systems with our partners like Avid and HP to do some VDI so that it basically it gets pushed to the cloud once, and then we touch that footage on the cloud. We never really have to move that again. Um, so that really, until you get to that distribution and finishing phase, you're not having to replicate or move data. It's only, it's only moved once. So. Uh how does this work with um, the effort around ETC? So uh, we are part of the Entertainment Technical Committee. Um, and uh, what we're really trying to do is, is look at this not from a company perspective, uh, but from a community perspective. And as the ETC is an open body, a uh, standards body that's trying to um, uh, create some standards in cloud and metadata and so forth and so on, we're trying to look at this as as a way to bring OpenStack into the entertainment industry as a community uh, and solve some problems around metadata distribution, uh, specifically with um, uh, technologies like Karma, which is a way to share database structures between databases and have common language. Um, and also just generally just share data between what's currently siloed clouds. Um, yes. Um, what were your challenges of deploying desktops in the cloud? I know you're just starting out, but I'm very curious because you know media types like to have the baddest laptop or the baddest desktop on the, in, right in front of them. Ah, yes. Uh, VDI is very challenging because um, VDI is like a dirty word. So uh, we're working with NVIDIA currently on a product called VCA Grid, uh, which is a very high performance uh, virtual machine box. Um, and that uh, basically is able to create eight Windows virtual machines, each with, each with its own Quadro 5000, and have a very um, fluid virtual desktop experience. Um, we also work with a company called Teradici that makes a similar product that makes that very fluid. Because the we right now, what we're doing is, is we figure the challenge is the challenge in replicating 400 terabytes of data a day is far more challenging, especially from a telco perspective, than the challenges in delivering a virtual desktop experience that's adequate to suit even a, a creative professional. So it's still a work in progress. Everything's still a work in progress. We have no solutions. We have only paths to walk down. Anyone else? Well, thank you very much for your time. Um, I really do want to thank everyone who contributes back to the OpenStack community. Uh, we're starting to contribute back ourselves in our own small way. And um, I really do appreciate that. It's, it's, uh, it's amazing to see what this transformation has done since we first started um, testing OpenStack at the Folsom release. So it's amazing to see it mature to this point. So thank you very much. <laughs>